So my question would be, what, what, what are some of your, I guess, interests that you see right now uh, that you would like to embark on, I, mean, I guess, that may be in the county, uh, that may be within our yeah. Possibly talk about maybe a, a, a list of identified yeah. Yeah, properties yeah. out there that you already exactly. have an interest in. Yeah. We would like to look at that, Marcus. First of all, we'd like, again, like to look at what you have under your ownership that really is serving you no purpose right now that we can funnel to the authority and get them into some type of active, good, positive use, whether it's housing or economic development that creates jobs, it might be a new business. Um, and then looking at areas where we can do assemblages, we always have greater impact as far as tangible value when you can do more than just one here and one there and one here. If you can start assembling, for example, when the land bank made that property purchase at the auction back October, November, we were able to acquire some right in the immediate area of each other. And so that has greater value rather than just doing one here, one here, one here. So that's what we'd really like to look at out in the unincorporated some that you all have on the books that we can be over to the land bank and do something for you all on that and then any areas where you see affordable housing development opportunities how we can help facilitate that. Do you have your eyes on anything right now? I guess that's what Not we're specifically to Marcus, I'm okay. sorry. Okay. But no sir. And that's where I need guidance and leadership from you all. There what, may be areas. What would be the difference between <coughs> the land bank <coughs> Uh, being involved in the sale of property and a realtor. I mean, because it sounds like you, in a lot of ways, marketing property to be sold or developed like a realtor. Well, and see, John, that's why we have to be very, very careful because we don't want to be competition. What land banks do, they typically, and we always have in our case, we stay away from those good market properties. We're acquiring those properties that have tax foreclosures. We're acquiring those properties that are under water. That, and the big thing that a land bank authority has, and I'm sorry I haven't brought it up now, before now, but the land bank authority has the authority to extinguish delinquent taxes. So if it has any delinquent taxes on it, all they have to do is pass a resolution and they can extinguish those taxes. And in a lot of cases, the taxes owed are greater than the value of a piece of property. So nobody's ever going to touch it. And so that's why we're very careful to stay away from those that have normal market conditions. We work with distressed properties. So you can buy a distressed property that has a tax lien on it. And extinguish the lien. And get rid of it. And how do you do that through a resolution? You said through a resolution. Land bank authority 